Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the immediate and long-term responses to tectonic hazards. This is part of Paper 1, Unit 8, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. After a tectonic hazard occurs, immediate and long-term responses help the recovery effort. But these may differ between countries at different stages of economic development. Immediate responses are the aid and assistance that are given within the first few hours or days following a disaster. These are often referred to as the emergency responses and they are vital in reducing the death toll, particularly in low income countries. Immediate responses include evacuating people following a warning, although this is mainly linked to volcanic eruptions as earthquakes occur without warning. They also include the search and rescue effort, trying to rescue people trapped under rubble, for example, as well as using social media to aid search and rescue operations. In addition, they include medical care for the sick and injured. This might be in the form of checking people for broken bones, administering painkillers or antibiotics, or performing emergency surgery. Furthermore, they also include providing temporary shelter for those who have lost their homes, usually in the form of large community buildings. Finally, providing food and clean bottled water is an important part of the immediate response effort, as food and water supplies are often destroyed in a hazard event. The main aim of immediate responses are to minimise the loss of life. Usually, in low-income countries, the victims are dependent on support from high-income countries, so emergency aid may take a few days to come through. This is one of the reasons why the death toll in low-income country events tends to be higher. Long-term responses are those that take place in the weeks and months after the tectonic event, and they focus on rebuilding and reconstruction of areas that have suffered extensive damage. The aim is to help people return to their normal lives as quickly as possible, but also to reduce the risk of damage from tectonic hazards in the future. Long-term responses include restoring essential utilities that have been affected by the tectonic event hazard. For example, repairing gas mains and electricity cables to ensure that energy sources are restored as well as repairing water pipes to make sure that people are not without a supply of drinking water for too long. Buildings have to be repaired or rebuilt, both domestic and commercial properties. But there's also the repair of important transport infrastructure, such as roads and railways. This is vital as damaged infrastructure makes it very difficult to bring in essential supplies. However, this process is really costly, so it can take years to happen in low-income countries. Another response is working to rehome people who are living in temporary accommodation. Once again, this can take many years, and a good example of this was in Haiti. Haiti in 2021 suffered a large earthquake. However, many of the people affected were still living in temporary accommodation following the devastating earthquake of 2010, which many of you will have studied as your low-income country tectonic event. Finally, long-term responses also include putting measures in place to minimise future risk of damage or loss of life. This is through monitoring, protection, prediction and planning. We will deal with this in a separate video. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the immediate and long-term responses to tectonic hazards. Thank you for watching.